Hi everybody, Sarah Jane here and it's my absolute pleasure to be back as Chief Executive of Birmingham Women's and Children's. I've been away for six months and it's a true honour to be back in time for Christmas, which is of course such a special time of year. And one I think that this year we are looking forward to more than ever before because of the difficult times that we have endured together over recent months. Who would have thought the last time we turned on our Christmas lights that any of the events that have unfolded during 2020 would have happened? It's been very, very difficult, very stressful for us as the staff of BWC, but obviously as importantly for the patients and families that we serve and want to do everything that we possibly can to look after. And of course, we've tragically lost very loved members of staff, which has broken all of our hearts. So whilst it's been difficult, and while we are all uncertain about what next year will bring, we know that celebrating Christmas and bringing some joy and sparkle to BWC is really, really important. And that's what we're going to do this evening. So we absolutely would not be BWC if we were cancelling Christmas. We want to bring the Christmas spirit to our organisation in every corner, bring the glitter fairies and make sure our organisation shines and we make it the best possible experience we can for our patients and families. You can't hold us down. You can't make us stop. If we can't decorate the wards and departments as soon as we normally do, then we can decorate ourselves, we can bring joy um, into the organisation and we can find lots and lots of new and different ways to celebrate. And that's absolutely what we're going to do at BWC this year. Of course, Christmas is also a really special time for fundraising too, it's a time when the local community can see all of the wonderful achievements and also to think about using Christmas as an opportunity to recognise the contribution that BWC makes and to think about ways to help and support us. And I really hope that people will do that again this year and really recognise the importance of community spirit. Lots of things to get involved in. The virtual Christmas concert, which is taking place next Thursday, the 10th of December at seven o'clock. Uh, tickets are £10 and lots of fantastic virtual performances, including from the School of Theatre Excellence, who always bring joy to the start of Christmas every year. We've also got our annual Jolly Jumper Day, uh, which is scheduled to take place on Friday, the 11th of December. And even if we can't see each other's jumpers uh, in reality, I'm sure we'll be able to see them on Zoom and Teams. And I am modelling this year's glorious jumper, uh, which is available from our fundraising hub. Lovely and cosy and understated, as you can see. So hopefully it's something that you will think about investing in. We've also got our magical messages again this year. So you can uh, spread that festive cheer by writing a message of magic to your family, friends or colleagues and donate the money that you would have spent on Christmas cards and perhaps spend the time that you would have spent ringing or contacting and having that special family time. If you want to find out more information as ever, you can look on our fundraising website. So it's soon time to start the countdown to our big light switch on. But before we do that, no Christmas lights can ever sparkle until we've heard from our fantastic BWC choir. And to lead you into what I know will be a wonderful singing session, I'd like to introduce the absolutely amazing Paul Nash, our chaplaincy manager and spiritual care lead, who's going to say a few words to us before our staff choir perform and we return for the big switch on. Paul. Welcome everybody to the lighting of our Christmas trees at Birmingham Women's and Children's Hospitals. They look beautiful. We definitely need our spirits lifted this year, don't we? After such a difficult time, so many restrictions, so much sadnesses. But we want to assure you that we're going to do our very best in all of our hospital sites this year to have a magical Christmas. We've got a hashtag going this year. No bar humbug. We're determined to make this a special time for our patients and families and staff. 
because we're so thankful to them for their understanding and their patience through all the restrictions. We can't imagine what it's been like for you, but we want to say how thankful we are because our Christmas this year will be so different, but perhaps it will take us back to that first Christmas, so more simple, of a baby being born, of being celebrated by unusual visitors with unusual gifts, but come and make this time so special and so unique that we remember the real meaning of Christmas, of love coming into our world. So as we've been saying, it's a difficult Christmas to plan for, isn't it? And it's been a sad year for some of us. But we want to say that we are determined to celebrate Christmas in our hospitals this year. There's a rumour going around this is difficult to do. Let me read this out to you. It's going around social media the last few weeks. There will be no nativity this year because the three wise men face a travel ban, the shepherds have been furloughed, the innkeeper has been shut down under tier three regulations and had a slump in bookings, Santa won't be working because he will break the rule of six with all of his reindeer, and as for Rudolph, with that red nose, he should be isolating and having a test. Well, as funny as that is, we want to say to you, there is no room for no bar humbug at Birmingham Women's and Children's Hospitals this year. We will be seeking to have a magical Christmas and we won't let that spoil all that we are going to be able to do for the children, for our women, our families and staff. Some of you may have heard our charities are fundraising this year by getting people to tell their favourite Christmas joke. Well, I have some really, really good bad ones. Or, or is that bad good ones? I, I don't know. I'll let you decide. Maybe they're just bad bad. How did Joseph and Mary know that Jesus was seven pounds, nine ounces? They had a way in a manger. No? Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was funny. So please now enjoy one of our carols recorded by the staff choir of Birmingham Women's and Children's Hospital. May your spirits be lifted this Christmas time. Oh 
start the countdown, I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody who's made tonight's slightly different event possible. To Woods Farm for our fantastic trees and also Marshdales and Vinci who helped with getting the trees here and the lights up at both the children's and women's sites. A huge thank you to, uh, to Paul Scott and Raj Jagpal and their team in Estates who I know every year uh, find this quite stressful because it's really important that we get it right but big love to you Paul and, and Raj I know how hard you work on this event and also a special mention to Kevin Seawall in Estates who managed to get us a brand new star for the Children's Hospital and of course the star is a really important symbol of Christmas so well done Kevin that you've got us something new uh, it's going to be really special and magical I know that I for one will look at the star look at the trees and I'll think about the difficult times we've had together and I'll particularly think about those really, really special colleagues that we've lost to COVID for whom we can never say thank you enough for the sacrifices that they made to their own family and loved ones to look after our BWC family and loved ones. And for me, that star is a tribute to them. But I shall also look at them as a sign of hope for the future and what 2021 might be able to bring so please join me now in a countdown across the trust to get our lights on. I obviously won't be able to hear you uh, in reality, but I'll certainly be able to hear you in spirit. So here we go. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. underway at BWC. As you would expect, we have full plans to put Father Christmas on a testing regime and getting kitted out in full PPE so we can be out and about in the organisation making sure that everybody gets the presents and love that they deserve. And I'll be out and about myself delivering Christmas presents in a safe way to all of you just to say my little thank you for everything that you've done this year. I hope you are able to find some special time over the weekend, uh, over the days and weeks ahead to celebrate with your family and friends and to think about the amazing achievements of 2020 and the way we've come together as a family to provide that special care in that really unique BWC way. And I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible when I'm out and about across the organisation over next days. Thank you, Merry Christmas, and stay safe, everybody. Mwah.